Hey, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. I am here today with Michael Campos, who works here at Matter Hackers with us. Hi, Michael. How's it going, Mara? Good, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. I'm so excited to be doing this with you. I am you. too. It's about time, right? I know, because you've been here with, at Matter Hackers for how long now? Uh, since April. I think it was. So Before that's a few months. Yeah. So I don't know what time. It, it, feels, it feels like home. So. You bit, yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, you and you were involved in 3D printing way before you started here at Matter Hackers. And actually, it wasn't way before. I mean, we're talking just over a year ago. So it's it's been a very exciting year. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, tell us about how you got started in 3D printing. Uh, well, my son Carter, uh, he's five now, was born with uh, a below the elbow amputation. So uh, he was born without his right hand, essentially. And uh, watching him grow, he could do everything he wanted to do. He hit every milestone in his own way. Um, but when he was uh, four, he, he turned to me and he said, Daddy, will you build me a hand? And my heart hurt. You know, I didn't know what to tell him. Um, I told him, you know, one day, buddy, one day we'll do it. And. Uh, I was doing some research on the 3D printed hands. I knew they existed. I knew nothing about them. I knew nothing about 3D printing. Um, but amidst my my research, uh, it led me to uh, Enabling the Future, which uh, puts out these um, designs for 3D printed hands. They're free, they're open source. Anybody can get them. Uh, they just need to be able to 3D print. So um, I found a 3D printing lab in Grand Rapids and um, Aaron Brown, um, I sent him one email and he said, bring Carter in, let's do it. And, you know, of course I asked him about cost and that's when he said, it's free, we don't charge anything for it. And I was wow. blown away, I was blown away. So um, I hadn't told Carter about it, but we were, uh, we were sitting on the couch and we were watching BattleBots. And he turned to me again, he goes, Dad, will you build me a hand? And I said, dude, we're doing it next week. And he, uh, he just grabbed me, you know, he was so excited and so was I, you know, and so we went into the lab, um, Aaron took some measurements and a week or two later we went in and got Carter's hand. And when I saw this whole process, um, I knew I had to get involved somehow. And uh, I was talking to Aaron about it he said, you know, get a 3D printer, you know, there's sub $400 3D printers out there. Um, so what I ended up doing is I uh, opened up a GoFundMe and laid out exactly what I wanted to do and how I was going to do it. And uh, we hit our mark in 36 hours. Wow. <laughs> and um, so we got our first 3D printer. Um, and it was about a month later, uh, we were giving away our first hand to another little boy named Carter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. It That's was really awesome. cool. And then it took off from there. I mean, yeah. we, we've divided, uh, I've lost count, but I would say one to two dozen hands uh, all through the United States. Um, we've sent a couple hands overseas, one and two to Europe. Um, so it's been, it's been very exciting. It keeps me very busy. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so uh, what's the website where people can, uh, can find your, uh, the cla it's Claws from Carter, right? Yeah, ClawsFromCarter.org. Okay. Or, okay. Uh, Facebook.com slash Claus from Carter. So now I have, you know, almost unlimited resources when it comes to 3D printing. Um, I have the family here. I have Alec, which is a huge asset. Yep. Um, and so we've been, you know, I've, I've constantly been working on hands. Um, I'm up early. I try to stay up late yeah. <laughs> while getting my work done here. Um, but, but since I've been here, um, our story has gotten published. It's made it around the world I mean, several different continents, uh, Japan. So that's been really exciting. Yeah. Um, a lot of people reaching out, uh, wanting to get involved in whatever way they can. Um, we have Ali who's uh, developing, developing our website for us right now. Mm -hmm. um, some engineers that are lending their time. A lot of, a lot of things happening. Yeah. And what happening. was the story with the, um, the family that came in um, when you had, you had made uh, the superhero hands. That little boy was so cute. It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. That was really fun. But, uh, it's a feeling that I'll never get over, you know, being able to uh, give a child a hand. You know, yeah. It's, it's, 
it'll never get old. Yeah. That for sure. Yeah. Now, so we just published an article about your new Mayo electric hand. So tell us about this. Tell us about the design process and kind of what this means for the next generation of 3D printed assistive devices. Hopefully, what, I, what I'm really wanting to do is create a practical, functional um, Mayo electric arm that I'm trying to keep it under $100. And that's, okay. that's going to be tricky, uh, but I want it to be affordable. You know, I don't want to have to charge an arm to the leg for an arm. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you for being here at Matter Hackers and inspiring us every day um, with everything that you're printing and everything you're doing for everybody. We will put some links down in the description so that people can follow your work. If you have any questions for Michael, um, you can post them down in the description as well, and we'll get you interacting with some folks. All right, sounds good. If anybody wants to you know, contribute in any way or... You know, we're always looking for help in several different ways. So if you want to get involved, it's a lot of fun. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, I do have to th say thank you to uh, Jen Owen and Aaron Brown, who um, built Carter's First Hand, um, Sarah, Cam, uh, Andrew, Aiden. I mean, these, these are people who have made a huge impact on my life. And another, you know, the recipients, I don't think realize how much they help me you know it's a you know i need to thank them you know for letting me work with their kids because it's you know it's very fulfilling for me um lundy carter my dude <laughs> I, think, I think we're good good Thanks. all right awesome thank you so much uh thanks for watching um and uh for all your 3d printing needs go to matter hackers i'm mara this has been your matter hackers minute go be awesome Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.